If you're a subscriber to my channel or watch some of our videos, you've probably seen the flamingo drill or the stork drill, as I once called it. It's basically taking the right foot behind you to hit a chip shot. Let's explore how that same drill can make you a better ball striker. Hi, I'm PJ Master, professional of instruction and top 25 instructor of Golf Tips Magazine. I'm John Hughes. Thanks for subscribing. Also want to say thank you to Macklemore and Doug Amore and his entire staff here at Macklemore for hosting me. This is where this tip takes place. You can join me here in June of 2023 and actually learn how to do this drill to better ball strike. The Flamingo drill is basically about loading the front side. And when you're chipping the ball, a lot of people will try to go backwards like this and lift the ball up in the air. Well, if you're doing that with a chip shot, odds are you're doing that with a full swing shot. What it basically looks like is you're back here on this back foot trying to lift. You'll see chicken wings. You'll see a lot of things going on. So how can the flamingo drill be used correctly here? Well, if I set up feet together, I'm gonna to go to that white flag out there. And then right here, I'm forced to basically come down even with a driver. And now I've got forward shaft lean. With forward shaft lean, I've actually de-lofted the club. Now it's just a matter of me releasing and turning through. And this is the biggest mistake I see most amateurs use or do when they're using this drill is they won't release. And that's real pivotal when it comes to ball striking. You've got to release. So it looks something like this. Feet together, flamingo, and release. And you can see how upper body I was there. Not a good shot. I could feel I was up on my toe. And that's the beauty, my left toe. That's the beauty of this drill. Immediately, I start finding the setup positions, but more importantly, the dynamic balance positions that may be throwing my ball striking off. So by doing the flamingo drill again, maybe I can feel more in my left heel so I can rotate into it and release. A little bit more on my toe, but a little bit better shot. I actually had the toe closed there. For those people who slice, yes, this is a benefit of this drill. The flamingo drill is going to make the toe close a lot sooner. One more time, let's see if I can time it all out. Not quite, it was straighter, but I got to work on my balance right now with a bad back. I'm having issues with that, but this is a great drill. It's making me work in miniature and making my back feel like it's a little bit more sturdy and a little bit more stable as I'm going through the shot. I think you get the idea that being able to execute this little bit of a drill in a bigger way is going to help your ball striking. Questions, comments, leave them below. Be happy to answer as many as I can, as quick as I can. Thanks for being a subscriber. Thank you, Macklemore. Check back often. We want to help you improve your golf skills.